Hello and welcome to Survival Elite, welcome back to another video. Today we will not be playing the game but instead I will be showing you how to create a new map. Um, now I'm not the most talented in Timberborn and I don't have the most experience but I have messed around a bit with the map editor and I think I can hopefully help some people. There will be things to uh, that I need to learn so if I miss something out you guys can let me know. Um, not really made much for Timberborn, just messing around a bit. But I do make uh, a lot of maps for Command and Conquer General Zero Hour, which is actually my main channel. Uh, so I do have a lot over there. Right. So we do uh, come to this over here. Once you do click on Create New Map, and you can choose whatever you want. So I can have, for example, 50 by 500. Oh, well, I don't actually don't know what the limit is. Uh, but yeah, you can choose what you want. I'm going to go with 1 to 8 by 1 to 8. Uh, this seems quite a good size for single district. Uh, which is, I suppose, easier for many people that do not like um, to use more than one district. Uh, you do sometimes need to make a second district if you have some, for example, a mine in the back, then you won't actually be able to get all that way. But you, if you put like a farm here, you probably can get to the end. Uh, anyway, uh, so you start over here, change the camera to how you like it, and then uh, I like to set my uh, camera. Um, oops, uh, so I'll think over here or something. And a bit closer, no, a bit right there. Control V, set the camera straight. Now you can move where you want. Oops. Uh, camera straight, and then move where you want, and it always jump back, jump back to where you want. Okay. Um, so the first thing we'll go through all of this. First things first. Uh, we do have the uh, terrain height. I will also add um, timestamps. So this over here, you can see it's red right now. If I move it to four, oops, it'll go white. And if I go above 4, it'll be green. So what does this mean? This is basically the height. If it's green, that means you're going up. And if it's red, it means you're going down. And if it's white, it means nothing's going to happen unless I go over this. And then it'll go like that. Uh, you can also make it round if you want. So make it a bit bigger. And uh, go like this, for example. And then you have, uh, rather than having a square, it's got some edges. So it looks a bit better rather than having, if you just do that, for example, um, it doesn't really look as nice compared to this I suppose more like cliffy realistic but I suppose Timbon not realistic in that way but <laughs> you get what I mean hopefully uh, yeah and if you want to go lower you just go to the red part let's make it a bit smaller like this and then you can actually go lower as well um, and then if you want to um, usually the map starts at 4 and then uh, when I have messed around I'd like to put a bit higher because 4 seems a bit low uh, to start off with, unless you can have high ground somewhere uh, that you have to expand to on a map. But yeah, so you can just go like that. Okay, so that's raising and lowering the height. You also have raising and lowering the height with this button. But the difference over here is, uh, where it says 1, this is not the height that it's going to go to. But this is the height that it's going to raise by. So if I click here, and then click again, and click again, and again, and again, and again, and again, it's going to keep going higher and higher. If I want to go lower, I press shift as it says over there. So keep shift press and go low, 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 low. And just keep on going low to get to the bottom of the map. And we're not going to do that anyway. So that's what the difference between these two. This one is just uh, going to raise the height uh, to whatever it is. So 1, 2, is it, I remember 16 or something. Yeah. 1 to 16. And whereas uh, this one will just keep on raising or lowering by that amount. So if I did actually raise it, for example, by 10, it just goes shoot up. Uh, that actually isn't 10, as far as I know. Oops. Yeah, that, was, that would have been 10. Um, oh, it's actually 11. I didn't know. Uh, but yeah, but that's a max height, as far as I know. So let's just see, can I actually go higher than that? Let me find out now. Yeah, no, I can't. Oh, I can't go higher. Okay, anyway, so that's what them to do. The next thing is uh, the adding trees and natural resources. So you can add blueberries, dandelions, birches, pines, maples, and chestnut trees, uh, and you can also add their seedlings. So for example, now if I put this a bit bigger, I'll make it round because it looks more nice. And then I can click, and you get all the birches. If I want seedlings, so this is like this. Of course, they need to grow, but if they don't have water, these are the things that you can just put a path through when you're building. You don't actually need to come and get rid of these, put a path through. These ones you actually have to come and get rid of. Okay, so that's the difference. So you can have seedlings over here. Or you can actually have the fully grown things. So you can also mix. For example, we mix these four over here. And um, what is it here? So we've got seven. And you can see you've got a bit of everything inside there. Uh, you can also lower the amount. So now we put, for example, 
and if I was to go like this now as you can see not all the tiles are filled up over here is fully and over here is not fully so that's the difference over there another thing as well is randomizing, ra randomizing the yield growth so what does that mean that means um, will the blue blueberry start ready to collect or not will the dandelion be ready to collect or not will the well not the birch but the pine maple and chestnut can you collect from them or not so that's what that is so if I take this off and now if I actually plant these uh, these are going to be ready to collect now you might have noticed these are all dead at the moment and that is because there's no water source near, it, near them uh, actually yeah we'll come back to that in a second so this over here actually removes so I can go like this and just swipe through anywhere for example swipe 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 no I'm not doing a <laughs> I'm not doing a video swipe video but yeah swipe um, through things and I'll just get rid of them so that's how you get rid of your um, natural stuff delete objects uh, whilst you can delete here as well so I can just delete um, that's not only for objects so this is your starting position so this is how you uh, so if I place that down then I want to delete I can go like that or I can just put that down and click on it and delete and delete like that so this is just for the natural stuff and this is for everything uh, starting position so um, however you want to place it you can place uh, rotate with this or press R to rotate and that's the way that you will start so let's press it here for now um, I'm also going to dig down a bit because I need a water source uh, go with 5 but uh, go down to seven, uh, 5 yeah and like that and then we have this as a 6 that way the water can actually stock up a bit um, also I make it a bit smaller so you can have a bit of water oh, wrong one a bit of water coming near the trees like that okay uh, next thing um, on here is slopes so if you want to add a slope for example I rotate with R or with this so you put one there and I put one here so now you can actually basically a staircase you can come down there and if I wanted them for example to be able to come back up this way um, for example at the start of the game you want players to use the stairs instead so you can do that again if you want to come to removing them you can just place one down and come to remove and click and uh, or you can drag and do that as well uh, you can't do that uh, so that's how you remove uh, yeah next thing over here water source so water source is quite a, a quite a few things in water source we're going to hope they try to cover as many things as we can um, so over here we click you can rotate as well so as you can see you rotate uh, now there are a few things to know about this if I was to place it, for example, here, um, and then I I had um, like this, so now water it would leave from here, but it never leave from here ever. Uh, is there like a invisible barrier? For example, if I was to um, go like this, um, actually let's go a bit higher, like this. So water would never leave from here. It always come up up and leave from around here or from here or from here but it never leave from the back so whenever you place a water source at the edge of the map it's like it's a, there's an invisible wall so it never leave from there so that's one thing to know um, I'm just going to actually uh, bring that down so I don't want to flood over here uh, but anyway that's one thing um, the other thing we need to know about water is how do you actually get water on the map so I place the water if you start the map right now yes you will get water however all the plants will start dead and you won't have any any blueberries or dandelions uh, blueberries or dandelions sorry and you won't have any trees uh, growing so if you see over here there's water over here so you can choose normal speed and you can choose faster speed and you can actually reset the water so as you can see so if I, if I actually pause it there for a second I can actually reset and there's no water uh, well these are alive right now um, um, but yeah, as soon as oh okay they're alive for a second longer so you pause yeah as you can see they're going to start dying away again um, so yeah so that's how you get water uh, now I'm going to let that run for a second so that these can actually come back alive again um, yeah don't start the game yet guys uh, you can start the game uh, now <laughs> so you got some trees um, okay so yeah so the water over here as you can see is not it's not spinning back here it's actually coming down the sides and then it's going to go off the map or come into here and then go off the map so yeah 
that's what I was explaining before. So this is the water. Now the other thing we can do is uh, I'm going to do over here. Um, actually, before I do explain that, just want to explain over here. So if you set the map right now like this, these trees and things will be counted as dead and they won't grow, and these things over here will be alive. Uh, same with these; these will be dead, and these will uh, uh, these will be alive. These will be alive, but these will stay dead. So if you want dead trees, that's how you get dead trees. If you want alive trees or live growth of things, we don't actually have any blueberries, do we? I didn't place any down. I was wondering they didn't look uh, too many. They didn't look like it. There we go. You can see the difference. So anyway, we've got blueberries now as well. Um, that water source should be raising up. Let's just put it on fast forward. You have to get deeper because there's only three. Well, there's one here, but that's wasting half of it anyway. Uh, okay. So the next thing that we want to do is talk about the water source again. Uh, for this, I'm going to put uh, down a test over here. So well, this was was it seven? Yeah. So what we're going to do is we are going to uh, dig down like so, like that. Okay, there we go. Or maybe we'll do it over here. So, um, I don't can't do it there. One minute. Let's do this first. Okay. And now we can come down to here. Get a single one. There you go. Uh, no, not a one. Six. So we'll come down to here like that, and just make a channel to come out. Oh, actually, we make it three wide. Well, that's not three wide actually. Uh, <laughs> that's three wide. Yeah, the numbers over here are not exactly what they say. Um, put that back up. There we go. And then we also do the same thing on this side. Um, if I can get it right. Uh, over here. And just, yeah. Come on, stop getting it wrong. Okay, there we go. And then I will have to raise that back up. There we go. So is that in line? I think it is. Yeah. Okay, so now what we're going to do is place down water here and water here. Oh, uh, wait, 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 wait. Pause. Uh, reset. Okay. So you can actually change the number over here. You can change it from anywhere from 1 till 8. It's up to you. So I'm going to put this one as 8. Has it registered? Yes. And this one as 1. Now we're going to see how fast it actually uh, drain, uh, comes out. So if you go like this, look at that. That is blasting out, whether this is very slow, and you can see it's already gone a lot forward. You can also see it's actually quite high, as you can see. So the water, you can't change the power that comes out of the water source. So we're just going to pause that for a second and restart it again. And then uh, we'll change it to, um, so actually what we'll do is, uh, rather than having it splash upwards, we'll change this to a bigger number and put that down by one. So there you go. So this way now it'll spread out a bit more, but you'll see it's still it'll still win. Uh, it's not really a race, but yeah. So you can see it's actually blasting out really fast. Look how high that is, and it's faster than this. So it's traveling faster and also very very high. So if I was to have that enclosed, it'd probably spill up everywhere. But yeah, the other thing you can do, we can actually see the difference here. So if I was to actually pause it again and go like this and change this uh, this one to eight, for example and all of them to 8, you'll see not 81 Come on, what's going on? there you go 8, sometimes that actually number thing bugs out yep, as you can see um, 8, 8 and 8 it bugs out again nope okay, so now you can actually play it and you'll see, look how fast that fills up that's a lot faster than before uh, so yeah, that's that's another thing. Another thing you can do, you can actually um, use. Uh, we need to enclose this part off. So is that make that into a seven, and we will enclose. Well, actually, I don't need to do it with all of it, do I? I just need to show you one. Well, I don't know why I'm asking you guys. I don't know what I'm doing yet. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, we'll reset the water, and we'll come over to here, and place that on another water source on this side. Okay. So now this is going to be minus eight. Oop. Oh, is it registered? Yeah. And uh, this one is going to be um, minus one. Okay, so that's registered as well. Yeah, perfect. Um, as far as I can't remember if it soaks all of it, like I said, I don't know all the in and outs, but it does soak water up. So you'll see over here now, I think it'll probably still come out. So if it does, we'll just change the amount. Let's see, is it going to topple over? Well, it's quite a nice effect over there. <laughs> That's quite cool. 
Uh, so as you can see the water over here maybe it's rising but it should have come out by now the speed that that was coming out it should have come out but it's not and if you look at this one as you can see it's not coming out so you can actually have minus water um, let's pause it again let's see if I can actually drain all the water or not that'd be nice to know um, so I'll do this first time doing this draining in such a way I messed around with this a bit um, but that's about it and maybe on this side we can actually place down for drainers, minus one, minus one, and minus one. Okay, so now let's restart and play it. Let's see. So you got three on this side, you got four on this. So the water is still going across, but it stopped over there. And over here we have three, but it's not flying up anymore. So as you can see, it's being drained out. But anyway, that's how you actually drain water. Uh, from the map so if you have the water coming down for example downstream and you want it to just drain away if the player doesn't get it quick enough so you can have one of these at the end of the map uh, so the player actually loses out but that's how you drain water right next thing is a barrier so this is just a natural barrier uh, that you can use uh, on the maps like you can see so different different you can just press R or rotate uh, so for example if you wanted to block off this entrance like so and now that water would have to go higher and higher and higher and we'll just watch it go a bit higher for a second and then it'll end up um, uh, going topping uh, topping over and here we go yeah so if you want to play to start like this that's a bit weird there don't know what's going on but yeah if you want to play to start like this um, and then they have to basically come and delete this that's up to you uh, but yeah we can also just delete it so we come here and delete or you can just drag over and delete and that should stop the water from flooding I'm hoping um, it doesn't really matter when actually playing a game uh, but yeah that's how you stop um, that's how you get rid of it and that's how you s uh, put barriers down as well okay so <laughs> whilst that floods away maybe it was too powerful for the thing anyway because it was on, was on 8 speed I think it was so let's put that back down to 1 and uh, come on, yeah, this is a bit weird at the moment. And uh, one that should go down to one, can't you see it anymore? There you go, yeah, okay. So that's another thing. Um, so we've got barriers, uh, another one you can have uh, underground ruins. So this is what you have to actually. Uh, oh, I didn't know that there was actually a bottom part to it, that's quite cool. I didn't know there's you can actually see underneath it, hmm, interesting. So yeah, this is basically how you get scrap metal or science through there. And then these are ruins or metal blocks, whatever you want to call them. So you have from here, single, and then dual, then three, four, five, six, seven. Is that seven? Yep. Yeah. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So yeah, count it wrong. Right. So you have, so you can press R to switch it around. And then you can also go like this. And you can also go like this. And like that so whatever you want and then when you click on it you have to shuffle the model so you can see the different kind of models or maybe it's just switching around hmm maybe just no it's not switching around is it it's actually a different model every time that's full yeah so you can have different kind of models um if you click on the berries you don't get anything you click on the trees you don't get anything let's just see if we missed any trees actually uh dead plants nothing the house nothing uh, the barriers, nothing. Uh, the water source, you get something. And underground ruins, you don't get anything. Right, I think I've covered more or less everything. Um, trying to think. Uh, is there anything else? I don't think there is. Uh, but yeah, that's everything as far as I know. Uh, is there anything else that I've missed out? I'll add it into the comment section. Um, and I'll put some timestamps. If you guys think I missed something out or anything I could have shown uh, or uh, a bit better or explained in a bit more detail that you want, you can just drop me a comment. Like I said, I don't know everything about this game. I only started playing it recently. I've only been um, on the third map, I think, right? No, fourth map, third map, I think third map, I can't even remember, um, on my videos. So I'm not really that far ahead yet. And uh, But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh, video. If you did, please do leave a like, a thumbs up and also share this video please subscribe if you haven't already and i'll hopefully see you 
in another video and before i let you guys go i'm just going to flood myself so as you can see so you can see the difference over there uh, but yeah so that's how it is but yeah thanks for watching guys and i'll see you in another video